What's up guys, it's Cooprox here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing some Smash Brothers Ultimate because they have just released a new DLC character. It is the hero from Dragon Quest. And I thought it would be pretty fun to go over some stereotypes that I have come up with over playing hero for a few days. So I hope you enjoy this video. It's not at all to be taken seriously. If you are one of these people, I am not trying to bash you in any way, shape, or form. But anyways, enjoy the video. The first stereotype I have on this list I have called the RNG Master because this player will not stop using Down B. Down B opens up a menu which pulls out four random powers Hero can use using his magic power and they just keep spamming this. This player will use Down B no matter where they are on the map and sometimes it will end up in their death. The next stereotype I have on the list is just Ike. This player thinks that they are Ike when they are playing Hero and not Ike. And the reason for this is they will not stop doing short hop nair, short hop nair, short hop nair, or jump nair, or off the stage nair, whatever you want it to be. They will just not stop doing this and it's really annoying. Gonna admit, this stereotype is just for lols, and it involves the character who won't stop using zoom in their bottom menu. It gets really annoying really quickly, and I would not advise using this strategy. I don't know why anyone ever would. This stereotype is the player who is so lucky with critical hits, just like I have been accused of being. That forward smash killed at 0%, so it gets really annoying extremely quickly. So if you're unlucky, you're in for a bad time. This player fully charges every single recovery no matter what height they are at. This is a huge waste of magic power, so I don't know why you would do this, and if you do, just don't. This stereotype goes against the last one, and it is where a player uses all their magic power before they go off stage, so when they do jump off stage, they can't recover anymore. This feels terrible if this ever happens to you. Up next, we have the Down Air Fisherman. This is a guy who does not stop throwing you off the stage and going for that down air. I came up with this because I am guilty of this. I think it's super satisfying, as I think you will now agree by the short montage of me hitting those down airs. This player has a controller that only has a B button on it. This is the only move they use, is Hero's neutral B. There's no joysticks, no A buttons, no jump buttons, no triggers, no nothing. They only think they're playing this. Hero's recovery is pretty good, and these are players who think they are just invincible because it is so good. But every recovery has its limits. Well, they just recover too low. They think they can get back to the ledge when in reality they can't, and they're really disappointed when they miss that ledge. 
We've come full circle. This last stereotype involves the player, like in the first one, spamming down B except for the fact that they get stuck, they don't use the attacks. It could be an accident or they want to use the attacks and they're just clumsy with the controller, but they get stuck in the menu all the time, which makes them unable to defend themselves and attack the other player, which is basically what Smash Bros is about. Well, there you have it. 10 hero stereotypes that I hope were entertaining, but I, that's all I've got time for today. So I really hope that you liked this video. If you did like it, please hit the like button, and if you want to see some more of what I have to offer, hit the subscribe button. I have some Minecraft content that's kind of cringy, but you don't have to go watch that if you don't want. But I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Coot Rocks, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.